Hello everyone again and welcome to Woodhead.com. Today we're um, you know doing something a little bit different, we're testing something quite different and if you haven't guessed it is the very special, very interesting Under Armour sports mask. Um, it is a pandemic still and masks are very essential to our daily lives um, but we still got to get ahead with our sports and our workouts and our runs so uh, this is uh, a big solution to that. Under Armour with their version 2 of the Under Armour sports mask, a very popular sports mask and this is dubbed the Feather Light uh, variant, uh, the second version and we'll be talking about it and testing the mask uh, in this video so let's let's check it out before we get into the new mask we gotta talk about the concept uh, and how it takes uh, from the old mask. So the concept is relatively the same. Uh, what I have here is the old mask. It's a mask to keep you protected but also to help you breathe a lot easier when you uh, work out. At least breathe easier as compared to most most masks. Um, uh, and there's been a big premium on the space. As you can see it's quite concave over here uh, in the previous and the current generation one. It's quite curved uh, and yes it's all about breathability. And in the first version I actually, if you can see I wore a size L XL, I kind of sized up. Um, it, it does fit quite comfortably. It's not loose but it's not too tight either and you know um, it was very easy to breathe. Uh, what I noticed quite prominently is that the underside where my jaw line is, it kind of stuck very well to my jaw, especially when I started sweating. Uh, and the nose bridge as well was uh, very pliable and, and kind of easy to uh, apply across my nose. You know, uh, it was very easy to dry, easy to clean. Uh, but I had one dislike, if you can see the old, the old um, uh, mask, it was very thick and it was very padded. It's, it's a very foamy, dense, uh, mask so uh, what it does is that it soaks up a lot of sweat when I uh, run and when I use it now as compared to the current one uh, this is very much a this is very much a mask on a diet and you know um, it is quite thin uh, much less bulk as you can see over here much 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 less bulk um, but it's 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 a slightly foamy material but it's also has a certain rigidity to it as you can see it has a certain form and curves around the edges now this rigidity allows it to keep its shape when you breathe because it's very thin you don't want it to collapse too much uh, it's also very easy to dry and it doesn't soak up that much sweat because of just just there's just not a lot of material in here uh, the nose wire feels quite solid as well um, and um, yeah it feels a lot more solid and less flimsy and, and I quite like it. Uh, one interesting thing about this new mask is that there is this kind of chin so if you take a look from the side um, at the bottom over here there is this uh, bit for the chin uh, which sticks out so it kind of locks in your chin from the underside and I think that's a pretty cool new uh, design which helps the uh, mask lock in a lot more into uh, your chin as you can see there's a bit of a cleft and um, curve over here so that's where the that's where the chin goes in so that's how it kind of locks in a lot deeper and locks in well into your face as well it feels very secure it's just as breathable because there is still enough space on the inside um, and you know I've, I've been wearing it out uh, quite a few times uh, to the shops and, and downstairs but let's take it out for a run and see how it holds up Hey guys, this is uh, Budhype.com again uh, with one of my final tests of the mask, the Under Armour Sports mask in the new featherweight uh, design. Uh, you know, this is like the fourth or fifth time I'm actually testing this uh, on one of my runs. Uh, it's been very, very consistent in how I've um, used it. So I run about 5 to 10k depending on the mood and humidity here in Singapore. Uh, I run at a pace about 6 minutes per km, so that's pretty pretty average. Uh, I hope you can hear me. Um, I think I think I sound pretty clear so I, I hope you can hear me quite well. I think my voice sounds like it's projecting well uh, which is good for a mask. Uh, some of the other nifty features is the tighter shape around the entire mask. Uh, it's more rigid 
uh, around the top and also if you take a look at the bottom here uh, there's some structure here to kind of keep you locked in so the rigidity kind of keeps uh, some of the water vapor kind of um, fogging up your glasses so that's that's pretty pretty good uh, despite the reduced bulk all around um, the mask uh, there's ample space for the nose still uh, so you won't be kind of fighting out with the um, mask for, for air so that's uh, pretty positive um, you, you don't ever feel like struggling for air so far so this is one of my last uh, my last tests so let's take a look at how my neighborhood looks like and let's go for our 5k run it wouldn't be a boot hype review if we didn't talk about our footwear so just FYI I run kind of barefoot in these Vibram four fingers five fingers I can't remember the actual name but running Vibrams uh, I find it really really comfy and if anyone else runs in barefoot shoes or wants thoughts on my barefoot shoes uh, drop me a text and I'll drop me a comment drop me a DM drop me a text and I'll probably talk you through about how you can transition or how you can wear them well enough So the run is over, clocked in about maybe a bit less today, three to four kilometers um, around my neighborhood. So hope you enjoyed that, that, that run. Um, you know, it's, it's, the mask is slightly wet. The mask is slightly wet, uh, but in, it doesn't ever soak up as much sweat as the previous generation does because purely it just doesn't have that much foam and, and volume to be able to soak up all that sweat. So that's, that's good. It's not heavy. It's still very light. Uh, after that run um, but one really good thing about this mask is how rigid despite how thin the upper is it's still very rigid uh, so imagine if you're breathing very deeply it might collapse a little bit but it doesn't collapse too much where the um, the airflow becomes a problem uh, you can still breathe very easily despite the heavy breathing and that's a good thing about the rigidity especially around the nose where it keeps it keeps the mask pretty solid and in shape so that you have space around the nose so we're kind of done with our run today uh i think this is one of the best sports masks around easily especially for consumer level to buy uh so let's see how it holds up in the laundry let's go home 
And there you have it, that's the Under Armour Sports Mask Featherweight. It's easily the best mask I've worn during the pandemic where masks have been essential. You can wear it out casually and you know, people can hear you just fine. Uh, you know, it's it also fits snugly and securely for your workouts and breathing is very, very easy, uh, especially during your workouts as well. Uh, Im it improves on the last generation of the mask with a thinner upper that also absorbs less sweat and, the, and it comes with this chin guard as well which fits securely so you know it is it is a very good version of the mask you know i can't imagine how under armor could build an upgrade to this because for me this is uh, as close as you can get to being a perfect mask uh, for sports and for casual use uh that is a 10 this is a rare 10 out of 10 perfection for me I, I can't seem to find a fault with this. I absolutely love this mask. So if you want to get a mask for sports, if you want to go work out and use something which is uh, which helps you keep safe in the pandemic yet uh, won't uh, affect your breathing, this is the mask for you. Um, and yeah, so this is this is as good as it gets for sports masks. So that's it for me. Um, check back with us on future reviews, especially for football boot related stuff. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed this review. Drop us a like, drop us a subscribe if you have liked this video and please read all our football related reviews on bootahype.com. Cheers guys!